Biochar is a valuable soil amendment that can enhance soil fertility, sequester carbon, and promote sustainable agriculture. It is a fantastic way to enrich your soil, promote sustainable practices, and help combat climate change. In this video, we are going to show you how to prepare biochar in trenches using dry maize stalks, a hoe, a rake, water, and soil. The first step in preparing biochar using trenches is to choose the right location. Select an open area away from any flammable materials or structures to prevent a possible fire outbreak. Once you've found a suitable location, it's time to dig the trench. The trench should be 1.6 feet in width, 2 feet deep, and as long as you need, depending on the amount of biochar you want to produce, it's essential to have a good shovel and gloves to make the digging process easier. After the trench is dug, gather the dry biomass materials you want to convert into biochar. This can include dry maize stalks or husks, woody materials like branches and pruned twigs, or crop residues. Avoid using materials like plastics, treated wood, or anything that could release harmful substances when burned. Fill the trench with the biomass materials, compacting them as you go. The more tightly packed the trench is, the better the conversion process will be. Now, it's time to ignite the trench. Using easily flammable materials like dry leaves, carefully set the biomass on fire. As the fire begins, make sure to keep a close eye on it, ensuring that it stays under control. As the biomass burns, we need to control the oxygen flow to turn it into biochar instead of ash. To do this, you can continue adding biomass as you turn the burning stuff on or cool it with water when the biochar forms. If no water is available, you can cover the trench with a piece of iron sheet to create a low oxygen environment inside the trench, promoting the production of biochar. Allow the covered trench to burn slowly for several minutes. The conversion process will continue as the biomass turns into biochar. You do not see this steam, mm. so keep adding more. Okay. Once the fire has died down and there are no more flames, let the trench cool completely before moving on to the next step. You can quicken the cooling using water. Now that the trench has cooled down, carefully remove the covering layer of soil or sand to reveal the biochar. You should see a black, carbon-rich material that is porous and lightweight. Lakini bado unaweza jua hii ilikuwa kijiti. Ilikuwa maize stock. You should not wait for it to burn hadi ikue jivu. So this is the biochar. Put together. Mm -hmm. We want to see if it has been made well. First of all, during the preparations, Verify Michelle from Kisumu West Sub County took the temperature. And what we, what we got from that, it was within the required te temperature. So it should range from 450 degrees to 650 degrees. So our temperatures were right. So in that we have a plus. Can we clap for ourselves? You are not confident enough that you had the best. Clap for yourself. <laughs> Secondly, we've seen, we can see, all see that this was a stock. Yes. The second thing that you do, we break it. Mm. Are we together? Mm. When you break it, you must also see that it is mm. Are you together? Mm. That's another way of knowing that you've made the right biochar. So again, we are to take the biochar that we've already made.
You see? My hands are dirty, right? Mm -hmm. But they're not dirty per se. Mm -hmm. We want to wash them. Another secret of knowing that you've made the correct biochar. When you just wash it with water, it will remain clean. But the moment it sticks and you go for a soap, that is charcoal or that is ashes, that is not biochar. Are we together? So let me wash my hands and see if it will remain clean. Are you seeing? Have I asked for a piece of soap? Is it clean? Sorry. So we made the right biochar. Can you again clap for ourselves? Congratulations! You've successfully created biochar using the trench method. Store the biochar in a dry, airtight container to keep it from absorbing moisture and losing its valuable properties. Properly stored biochar can last for many years. <laughs>